Welcome to another Epic Ethics Story, part of the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative Elementary School Program. As you listen to the story, consider the four awesome questions inspired by the Rotary Four Way Test Is it true? Is it fair? Will it build friendships and community? Will it be helpful to those involved? Stay with us after the story for some thought-provoking discussion questions. And now, The Old Man and His Grandson. Story from the Brothers Grimm. There was once a very old man whose eyes had become dim, his ears dull of hearing, his knees trembled, and when he sat at the table, he could hardly hold the spoon and spilt the broth upon the tablecloth, or let it run out of his mouth. His son and his son's wife were disgusted at this. So the old grandfather at last had to sit in the corner behind the stove, and they gave him his food in an earthenware bowl, and not enough of it. And he used to look towards the table with his eyes full of tears. Once, too, his trembling hands could not hold the bowl, and it fell on the ground and broke. The young wife scolded him, but he said nothing and only sighed. <sighs> then they bought him a wooden bowl for a few half pence out of which he had to eat. They were once sitting thus when the little grandson of four years old began to gather together some bits of wood upon the ground. "'What are you doing there?' asked the father. Well, "'I'm making a little trough,' answered the child. "'For father and mother to eat out of when I am big.' The man and his wife looked at each other for a while, and presently began to cry. Then they took the old grandfather to the table, and henceforth always let him eat with them, and likewise said nothing if he did spill a little of anything. The End Discussion Questions Why do you think the parents had a change of heart about how they treated the boy's grandfather? Was the grandfather treated fairly? Why or why not? What do you think this story tells us about the way that we should treat others? Who do you know that is like the grandfather in your life? Where have you seen someone treated poorly and then yourself felt bad for that person? This has been an Epic Ethics recording, generously sponsored by the Daniels Fund Ethics Initiative. We'd also like to thank Colorado Rotary District 5450 for your service above self and support of peaceful schools. For more information about the Epic Ethics program or to bring this program to your elementary school, contact us at www.epicethics.org.